Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Scrum Principles. These are the six Scrum Principles. Let us go through them one by one. First one, Empirical Process Control. Scrum is founded on the function of empirism. Empirism asserts that knowledge comes from experience and making decisions about what is known. There are three pillars of empirical process control. First one, transparency. Important processes of Scrum are visible to all. By all, I mean all the Scrum team members. This increases trust between each other's work and the progress is clearly visible to everyone in the team. One of the examples of such kind of transparency will be the information radiator. In Scrum teams, there is an information radiator in the form of Scrum board. Let us have a look at the next one. Inspection. When Scrum team works, it is important to get feedback at every possible level. Which is why after every sprint, there are sprint review meetings with the important stakeholders of the software project. Having inspection enables team to improve on certain things if there is a deviation. Going to the next pillar, which is adaptation. In adaptation, Scrum team practice both transparency and inspe inspection to achieve the desired level of adaptation. Now, how does this work? Consider that in one of the inspections or one of the events, such as sprint retrospective, team has found a variation from the basic common goal of a given sprint. Then immediately, team works on this particular area and ensures that all of the team members are on the same goal. This is what uh, about empirical process control. The next one, self-organization. Scrum believes the idea that today's workforce produces better and great results if they are self-organized. Now what do we mean by self-organized? Self-organization means every team member is responsible for each other's success and of course they are responsible for their own organization skills now this of course doesn't mean acting in whatever manner they want but having self-organization enables a space of shared responsibility among the team which is why teams can be innovative and creative in their environment. The next principle is collaboration. Scrum focuses on this idea that the teams who work together create the best of the value. Now let us consider the example of a Scrum event called Sprint Review Meeting. In Sprint Review Meeting, the Scrum team members work closely with the stakeholders to create and validate the product that they have produced. This enables a sense of collaboration within the team. Next one is time boxing. The critical most aspect of every project is time. Scrum understands it very well, which is why there are events which are to be managed in a given duration of time. This ensures that team is not wasting their time on things that don't have clarity, but also it ensures that there are certain time limits on particular events. Along with that, it is also a beneficial thing for the teams to spend certain amount of time on different events so that they can achieve their goal in the stipulated amount of time. Let us look at the next value, value-based prioritization. Prioritization is defined as deciding the order in which the things are to be done, whether they are to be done now or later. In Scrum, prioritization is based on very important fact that what will deliver value. So when choosing a particular work item, the team members focus on what value it will deliver. The focus is always on delivering the greater value and not at the end of the project, but from the early stages of the project throughout the project. The next one, 
is iterative development. Many a times when scrum teams start work on a certain product, the idea of the product is not itself clear to the product owner or the related stakeholders. With this scrum principle, it enables a constant flow of work versus feedback so that in the process of developing that particular product, including the stakeholder, everyone gets a clarity about what is to be done. Also, using iterative feedback, iterative development, teams can get early feedback about their releases of the product into the market. This is all from the Scrum Principles. In the next video, we are going to dive into Scrum Master. Thank you for watching.